Okay, so now moving on to our other one. What we're going to do is this is going to be the standard 109 um, map, but it's going to be hopefully look a lot better because I'll do exactly the same setup, but it will have more components. So in order to show you what I mean quickly before I do that, which I'm going to delete this one, is uh, here we have our total component count at 64. So this one is going to be, you know, if you, if you can get away with it, if the visuals aren't bad, too bad for you, then this one is going to run like butter, like melted butter. And like it will, it will just flow really well performance wise because that is like hardly anything that will cost you nothing um, in relation to other things that Unreal runs. But we are now going to ramp this up to 256 I believe uh, which will be this, using the same map but using 256 as our total component value. So with the lighting I'm just going to turn it off just so that we have um, a bit more uh, ease to see everything. So you can see here we basically have everything set already <clears throat> and I didn't even change this so the only difference is basically this number of components value um, it's basically twice as much um, so yeah it's the exact same setup but we have one by one. No, oh, sorry, that's the difference. So we have one by one section, and it's sixteen by sixteen, as opposed to two by two and eight. So you just change these two values basically, and we get the same resolution, but with a higher component value. I'm going to have to adjust the well partition region size settings in order to get 4x4 four because four. if you were to count these yellow boxes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 16 basically believe me um, we basically have to change this 4 to an 8 I believe and then that should give us 4x4 four four, but for this setup so if we create As you can see, we have our regions, uh, our four regions with eight components per region, or eight by eight components per region. We will load selected regions, and we get that. Then we want to go import. We have the same file already set up because we did it last time. Obviously, you have to find your file and then we want to um, make sure loaded only is selected I should have mentioned that in the previous example and then hit our import now that plops the map down because we've got no light we can't see and if we turn on our light we now have the same height map but with total component count 256. Now this should look a lot better on the ground um, in theory. I mean this is still not the best because it's only a 1k terrain but it will probably do pretty good you know there's only so much we can expect from a 1k terrain. If you wanted to use a 1k map um, and get more out of it you would have to make it smaller essentially to get the um, the same out uh, the, uh, the increased res out of it or the or to maximize the res I should say but basically there's only so much you can get out of a 1k map um, but you know, once you cover once you cover this with rocks and stuff, it's going to look good, and you probably wouldn't even need to use, you know, you'd use the previous one, at 64 components, uh, in order to make sure it runs better. You know, it's just why would you use this res if you don't need it? But uh, yeah, that's basically, you know, if you want that higher resolution, then 
you'd have to think about your scenario and why you need it. But yeah, that's basically 1k covered. So that is that. Um, so I will now save this one. Now that we're all set. Now we'll move on to the 2k version. I am going to make sure that I have these copied and pasted so that we don't have to set that up every time.